Jimpy Jimpy is hardly the name you'd expect for a stinging tree. It looks quite harmless too, but in reality, the Jimpy Jimpy is one of the most venomous plants in the world. Commonly found in the rainforest areas of northeastern Australia, the Moluccas and Indonesia, it is known to grow up to 1 to 2 meters in height. In fact, the Jimpy Jimpy sting is so dangerous that it has been known to kill dogs, horses and humans alike. If you're lucky enough to survive, you only feel excruciating pain that can last several months and reoccur for years. Even a dry specimen can inflict pain, almost a hundred years after being picked. With the exception of its roots, every single part of the deadly tree, its heart-shaped leaves, its stem and its pink, purple fruit, is covered with tiny stinging hairs shaped like hypodermic needles. You only need to lightly touch the plant to get stung after which the hair penetrates the body and releases a painful toxin called meroidin. Sometimes, merely being in the presence of the plant and breathing the hair that it sheds into the air can cause itching, rashes, sneezing and terrible nosebleeds. One of the first people to document the adverse effects of the Jimpy Jimpy sting was North Queensland road surveyor Ray C. Macmillan, who reported to his boss in 1866 that his pack horse was stung, got mad, and died within two hours. Local folklore is also filled with similar tales of horses in agony jumping off cliffs and forestry workers drinking copiously in order to dull the pain. In 1994, Australian ex serviceman Cyril Bromley described how he happened to fall into the tree during military training. He was subsequently strapped to a hospital bed for three weeks and administered all sorts of treatments that proved unsuccessful. He described it as the worst period of his life, when the pain made him as mad as a cut snake. He also told the story of an officer who shot himself after using a leaf for toilet purposes. Oh, yeah.